Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Kamunda 8 setup in local. Not only local. So how basically we, we can do the setup of Kamunda 8. Okay. So basically Kamunda is providing two ways to set up the application. I mean to set up the Kamunda URL and everything. Okay. One is SaaS based. It means software as a service. SaaS is nothing but software as a service. Service based. And another one is self managed. Okay. In this video, let's cover how we can create an account and create these things based on SaaS based. Okay. So if you want to utilize based on the SaaS, you need to pay the amount to Kamunda. Okay. Because it is a cloud based actually. Okay. And second one is self managed. That, that is a free version. You can uh, install Docker, Kubernetes, and you can set up your own environment. Okay. But if you want to set up the environment uh, with full features, whatever is Kamunda providing, so you need to go with the SaaS based only. Okay. So let's let's show you how to create the SaaS based uh, environment uh, for your development. Okay. Uh, so, but still, right? So, as I told, that is a payable version, but still, they are providing 30 days free trial for SaaS based as well. Okay, I mean SaaS based, they are providing 30 days free trial. Okay, let's let's let me show you uh, how to create an account, how to utilize that, and all the things. Okay, now let me jump into the browser. Okay, so, so this is the page. Basically, you need to just redirect. Actually, come on, get started. Maybe I will. Uh, paste this URL into description. Okay. So if you see here, get started with Kamunda 8 end to end process orchestration to transform your organization. Okay. So you can see here, whatever I shown in the PowerPoint, right? Same Kamunda platform 8 SaaS based and the Kamunda platform 8 self managed. Okay. If you see here, be host, no technical setup or installation is required. Okay. It means they will take care of uh, all the things. Actually, you, you just need to do if you remember our architect, right? Our architecture, right? If you, you you need to just utilize the ZB client actually, ZB client, okay? Other than that, everything they will take care of. If you just use that, uh, it is similar like AWS, right? So AWS cloud, you need to use that uh, bucket name and whatever it may be in AWS, right? Similarly, here you need to use the ZB client ID and secret and all the things, okay? Let's see. Uh, for example, if you want to create the, your account here, right? So free account, no credit card record, okay? create a free account so if you go for a free account so they are providing access for 30 days okay after that if you want to continue utilize that you need to pay for it okay but they are providing like a, a real version actually you can see here free 30 days trial start or session your business process now so you you can give your details all the details and you can click uh, you can sign up actually that is a one way or else you can even utilize create your account based on the Google. I, I'll just try to create account based on my Gmail ID. Okay. Okay. So that's all. So account is getting created for me. Okay. If you just click that account will be get created and it will redirect to you uh, the Commodore console basically. So the cloud console actually. Okay. So it will take few seconds actually not much more than that. Okay. So that's all you, you are done. So, so if you see here, uh, modeling is free, but free process execution trial ends in 30 days. Okay. Only 30 days they are supporting. Okay. So you can see here, there is a clusters, uh, tutorial, something they are already provided and you have the dashboard. If you click here, you can see the modeler. So where you can, we will draw it right with the help of Kamunda modeler, the same. The same op option they are providing here as well. Create your project. So choose BPM and template. Choose create a BPM and file, and all the things you can do here as well. Okay. So yeah, let's let's jump to the uh, things. Okay, you have one cluster. Okay, so the cluster you can see here. So I'll just uh, trial package. This is they are providing a trial package. Just delete it. Are you sure you want to delete delete this cluster? Okay. So if you want to create your new cluster, you can create it. Okay. So I, I'm just creating a new cluster for me. Okay. So the cluster name maybe I'll give you a tag. Blocks. Okay. 
and this table version and uh, let let's go with this uh, default one okay so trial package create a cluster okay the cluster is created with my name right when i click this cluster it will rewrite to the nice screen so here you can see this is the cluster id okay so this is a cluster id and the api create your first client applications create your uh, view process instance view user task view process performance so all the things uh, so for example if i click here okay so i think as of now there is some issue with that uh, i mean come under cloud okay uh, create your first client okay so i i'll just try it create to create my uh, first project tech bus blocks okay let let me create and i i just trying to utilize the task list operate and optimize all the scopes whatever they are providing right so let me create it okay so here you can see the here actually so this is what you you need it actually so cluster url you need it client id you need it client secret you need it these details okay so if you see, if you download it here actually spring boot right so whenever you are creating spring boot application right so where you, the properties files will be there so those properties files you need to mention all these things let, let me just open this file okay open with maybe choose another app. okay just notepad let me go with that so you can see here zb client region dsm1 and cluster id client id client secret this is similar like how you will configure your application with aws right the same way these properties should be mentioned in your spring boot application right so hope you you know that how to create a spring boot application and how the properties looks like so if you are not aware of those things please go and watch my commander videos so where i will mention all the things how to create a spring boot application and all the things maybe in next future videos i'll try to do the same but please watch the those videos to get it understand more about uh, like creating the commander uh, projects basics right so this is the way this is the application properties you need to use it so you need to just create a simple spring boot application and in that you need to mention these properties okay and one more thing you need to do it out so maybe in the next sample project videos i will try to cover that as well okay so here you can see the scopes zb client uh, task list operate and optimize all the things will be there right so so that's all guys mostly see if you if you just click this urls right so maybe i'll try to copy some url and i'll try to hit it here let's see what what's so okay i think temporarily is uh, like unavailable okay so maybe let's go with the operate at least is that working so all thing is unavailable optimize okay i think there is some issue with the uh, kamunda okay i mean kamunda cockpit but otherwise this url is the same as what you will see in the kamunda 7 right so that will be populated here actually so okay so that that is what actually so it is very simple right so you need to start any separate server or something else so everything will be taken by our counter cloud itself okay so as of now we are not created any project right can you able to observe that so otherwise we need to create a project and where you need to mention uh, where you need to embedding the Kamunda, then you need to run the application, then only you can see all the task list, uh, operate, uh, all the URLs. But here, we are, nothing we done. We just created account in our Kamunda cloud. So that cloud itself providing all the things. So when you want to create application, and so you want to utilize that API details, so that time you come to know that so okay so we need we need the application and where you need to mention all that uh, properties whatever i shown earlier right so i mean this application or properties which we downloaded so so then that application will be directly interacting with this cloud automatically after you mentioning these properties so if you are creating some bpm and file that will be automatically get deployed here okay so then based on the options right so whatever i shown you so like uh, uh, what is that the urls multiple urls right so those urls you can directly 
uh, hit it so you can see that uh, bpmon file whatever you deployed from your application i mean from your spring boot application okay so maybe in next video i will try to cover uh, sample project how to create it how to run it and how that is getting deployed here okay so hope you understood now how to create a kamunda console in saas basis okay not a uh, kamunda platform self managed we done with the help of saas basis okay so another video i'll cover this kamunda platform self managed right so hope you understood how to do these things right thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye please if you have any queries feel free to add it in your uh, i mean add it in comments okay thanks thanks for watching bye bye